What's up, YouTubers, YouTubettes? Welcome back. So, today I'm going to be making sodium sulfate. And so, this starts at my How to Make Glacial Acetic Acid video. And so, then at the end of that video, the original starting boiling flask, that is where this liquid came from. And so, I've dumped it out of the original boiling flask into here, and it's cooled, and it's got some crystals starting to form in there. And so I've added a little bit of distilled water, and now I'm going to filter it off. And uh, then I'm going to start boiling the water off to make the crystal start coming out of solution faster. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and filter this right, right here, and then I'll start boiling it. Be right back. All right, so I've got it all filtered. And now I'm going to boil off some water until I start seeing crystals form. And then I'm going to take it off heat and let it cool. And then all the crystals should precipitate out. And then I'm going to drain off the fluid. And that should get a lot more of the coloration away. And I'll add water and do it again. And that is going to be my process until I get it down to clear. <clears throat> and so, yeah, whenever... Um, I get ready to take this off, I'll show you. I just turned the temperature off, and so you can see how much water I've removed. About 250 milliliters or so, almost already. And um, so, yeah, now I'm going to let this cool, and the crystals should start forming, and then I'm going to filter them. Alright, so it's all crystallized. And pour off what come out. And I'm gonna add some more fresh water and then dissolve it again. And then heat it and then same process again. Well, it's redissolved, and then I filtered it twice, and now I'm going to boil off my water again, and then cool it to recrystallize it, and the whole thing again. And so, um, yeah, as you can see, it's gotten a lot more clear. So I'm starting to get close. All right, so I'm redissolving it again. This is my third time, and so I just wanted to show uh, the clarity that I'm finally getting to, and then um, the needle crystals. Um, my phone doesn't do much justice what they look like, but just really neat looking, so I just wanted to share that. Another thing I wanted to point out is that the reaction in here when I take the crystals and combine it with water is endothermic, so it's cool. It's not crazy cooling it, but you can, it's obvious cooling though. I mean, you can definitely tell, and so kind of just another thing to point out. Well, there's what I decanted off, and there's my finished product um i still need to dry it but that's it right there i mean it, it's nice and clear and once it's dried it'll be all good to go and i'll probably just stick it on my uh, vacuum pump suck it dry and then let it air dry for a little bit uh, I don't know if this stuff is hydroscopic or not, and so I'll have to figure that out, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, that's all it takes, guys. So, until the next one.